the film tells the true story of the youngest warrior of World War II known as Soldier Boy. Beware of spoilers. The movie opens in Russia, where a family is enjoying a day by the river. The youngest member, Sergei Alyoshkov, boasts to his brother and mother about climbing a tree. Suddenly, German fighter jets fly overhead. The mother urges her children to hide, but Sergei, six years old, is not scared and shoots down the jets with a slingshot. But when he looks around, his family has disappeared. Sergei wakes up from the dream, calling for his mother. Someone suddenly knocks on his door, and he assumes it's his mother. However, it's a neighbor woman who is panicked. She thanks God for keeping him alive, but informs him that his mother and brother are dead. The young boy is unable to understand and wants to stay in the house waiting for his mother. The neighbor urges him to run away as the Germans have attacked. Suddenly, soldiers arrive at their house and the woman makes Sergei escape through the window, but she is shot dead before she can join him. Now alone, with no family or friends, he ends up lost in the woods and spends the night there. The next morning, he's seen drinking from a river when enemy soldiers approach him. Sergei, aware of the danger, quickly hides among the roots of a tree. He is startled when a snake comes near him, but he remains silent and still. He is more afraid of the soldiers than the snake. The soldiers eat by the river and eventually leave, and Sergei takes their leftovers to eat for the night. However, by the end of the day, Sergei is exhausted, having not had a proper meal in two days and wandering without a destination. On his journey, he finds wild berries and eats them, but he is then surprised by an explosion. The shock causes him to become dizzy and hallucinate someone following him, but even in this state, he remains brave and claims to have a rifle and not to be afraid. However, despite his determination, he eventually falls unconscious. While he is asleep, two soldiers find him. Commander Kuznetsov is waiting for his patrol soldiers to return. They come back with the injured and weak little boy. When the soldiers assure him that they are on his side, the boy opens up and introduces himself. The soldiers feel a fondness for the boy. They care for him, feeding and giving him water. Even the usually stoic commander takes care of the kid. A nurse named Katya tends to Sergei's wounds and is charmed by his personality as well. Even the injured soldiers talk to the boy, and they felt better doing so. Sergei asks her to draw a tank on his wounds because he wants to be a soldier when he grows up. Sergei is fascinated with the commander's gun and his unit. The commander answers all the boy's questions and even lets him play with his honorary pistol after removing the bullets. Sergei shows the commander the tank drawn on his stomach and boasts about being a soldier himself. Nurse Katya asks the commander to let the boy stay with the battalion, but he disagrees, stating that it would not be safe and wants to send Sergei to an orphanage. The soldiers have grown close to Sergei and have grown to see him as one of their own. However, during an enemy attack, many soldiers are injured and a vehicle comes to take Sergei to the orphanage. The commander gives him a wooden pistol as a gift and Sergei hugs him, expressing fear for his safety. This causes the commander to change his mind and adopt Sergei as his son. The soldiers were overjoyed when they found clothes for Sergei to wear, making him look like a real soldier. They referred to him as their little soldier boy. As they were celebrating, the Germans launched an air attack on the battalion. The soldiers quickly took Sergei to a safe place and fought back. Despite the high number of injured soldiers, Sergei wanted to help and provided water to the thirsty soldiers. One of them asked him to read a letter from their family, but Sergei didn't know how to read. He made up the contents of the letter, saying the soldier's cow was safe back home, making the soldiers laugh and feel better. As the scene shifts, we see Kata and the commander talking. They seem to be attracted to each other but do not confess their feelings. Sergei witnesses a soldier's station being destroyed in an attack and his commander teaches him to take off his hat as a sign of respect for the fallen soldier. The next day, Sergei insists on being given a mission and is tasked with distributing letters among the soldiers. He completes the task efficiently and even makes the soldiers dance for him. The following day, Sergei goes out with his binoculars and spots something suspicious in a haystack. He rushes back to the battalion and alerts the soldiers. Despite their skepticism, they investigate and find two German spies hiding. The spies are arrested and Sergei is praised for his intelligence. That night the commander shows Sergei the legal papers for his adoption and he becomes officially his son. Sergei helps the soldiers during a German attack by supplying them with ammunition but is told to return to the shed for safety. He sees the commander and others panicking about a broken phone connection with the colonel, Sergei decides to follow a soldier and fix the broken wires himself. Despite the danger, he manages to fix the connection leading to more troops being called in to help which saves everyone's lives. 
Later, the commander confesses his love for Katia and asks her to be Sergei's mother, but before she can respond, they are informed that they have been dispatched to a new base. On their way, they encounter a minefield which causes damage to some of the vehicles and injures the commander. One of Sergei's close friends in the group's orderly dies in the explosion. Sergei is devastated and hugs the commander. Upon arriving at the new base, the soldiers meet the commander's superior. The general is impressed by Sergei's determination. The next day, their division is honored with a guard's banner and Sergei is included. He declares his intention to defend his country when given the opportunity. Later, while their base is under severe attack, the commander is trapped in the rubble. The story concludes with Sergei mourning the loss of his father and trying to rescue him during a brutal attack on their base. The following day, he is seen tending to the injured commander. Sergei has now become a vital member of the team and considers the soldiers as his family. The movie ends with the regiment moving to another base, with a voiceover mentioning that Sergei even participated in the Battle of Stalingrad and accompanied the soldiers to Poland. He is now renowned as the youngest soldier in history, and his story of courage has become a legend known throughout the world. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing for more future stories.